Okay. OP. Am I the a-hole? My dead wife cheated with my brother, and I told their son who I thought was my son. Now, I've heard of messes before, but uh, this is this is a whole, like, landfill. This is a whole a new level, my friend. <laughs> this isn't just a dumpster fire. It's a landfill fire. <laughs> this is a family conflict that came up recently. I, male 46, used to work in the military, so I was away from home most of the time. When my then only son was three years old, I discovered by accident that he wasn't mine. Which, oh. How do you discover that by accident? That's my oh. question right there. I don't wow. know, that, that's an odd accident to yeah, t- yeah. suddenly discover this kid's not mine that I thought for three years was. You know, losing your keys is an accident. Like, Yeah, <laughs> this seems a little different. I discovered by accident that he wasn't mine. He was my older brother's. And also the older brother, like... I feel like it's worse than your younger brother. Because, like, your younger brother, you're like, oh, like, yeah, he's yeah. around. He was giving Older you brother, noogies. You know better. He was giving you noogies all ch- to childhood. <laughs> he's like, yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna get your girl. And then he actually did it. <laughs> it was the most devastating time in my life, aside from what I was dealing with. My ex-wife and I ended up divorcing, and I cut contact with my brother for years. I was done with him even after my ex-wife, who he married the same year of the divorce, no! died suddenly. There's so much to unpack in Bro, that Bro, what? I'm going to say that again. They actually got married. I was done with him. Even after my ex-wife, who he married the same year of the divorce, died suddenly. So this guy got divorced. His brother married his ex-wife. And then his ex-wife died. Can you imagine what a tragedy the same year they divorced they same met. Year. I, I have always wondered though like do do you know spouses like their significant other siblings because they look alike and they're <laughs> i mean i think this story answers it all like <laughs> yes why have the younger brother when you could have the older more experienced Ooh. brother my parents thought my ex's death was supposed to make everything okay what? How? Wow. How the freak would that make everything okay? As they claimed, she was the one who drove a wedge between me and my brother. But it, but bro, your brother bro. was the one who hooked up with your dead wife. Are you kidding me? Uh, and also just like, like, okay, yeah, she cheated, but then also she's dead. So it's like, hooray, she's dead. It's like, that's kind of. No, that's up. not what solves this. Yeah. Or maybe the parents did think that's what would solve it. And they killed her. Yeah, was, yeah, maybe there is a uh, from uh, Reddit podcast to true crime podcast. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, OP kept his distance. That is until my nephew had some questions that changed everything. My nephew started reaching out to me and we began seeing each other more often when he was around 15. He was always told that the fight between me and my brother was about business. business? Risky business. Risky business. business. The business of banging. <laughs> my parents threatened to disown me if I told my nephew that his mother was my ex and that I should leave it alone, which I did since they said that if they had to choose, they would choose their nephew slash grandson. I mean, well, like I understand like <laughs> trying to think of what's best for the kid, you know? Like, the kid didn't do anything. I don't, I don't like him. I don't <laughs> like the vibe. My nephew tried to get me to meet my brother so we could talk since my brother welcomed the idea, but I refused. Which is just so, like, heartwarming. Like, the nephew just wants them all to get along yeah. and has no idea what's rumbling underneath the surface. I made it clear to him that he needed to stop forcing a reunion and he respected my wishes. That would all change when he turned 21. So he's now 21 and is getting married in November. He sent an invitation, which I declined and returned right away. He called to ask why. And I said, I'm no contact with his dad. So I won't come since he'll be there. Which like, bro, it's your your nephew. Like, yeah, drop the beef with your brother. It's your nephew. I don't know. What would you do? Honestly, that's that's a hard. That's that's a that's a hairline. Either way could be, you know. Like, I understand how much it would hurt, you know, and your brother did this to you, but this isn't for your brother. Yeah, go there this for the nephew, for nephew, honestly. Be like, I'd be like, listen, I'm not trying to, like, engage with your father, but I will go here for you. But I wanted you to know, like, I'm not trying to Yeah, like, you can make buddy. stipulation. I'm not trying to repair things with my brother right here. Yeah, like, I'm this here is for you. you and you alone. Yeah. My nephew refused to accept that and came over and started criticizing me, saying I'm being unnecessarily bitter and resentful towards his apologetic dad over some 
business and said he cannot <laughs> believe how much hate I keep inside me against his dad. He said I either try to work things out with his dad or he will not be seeing me again. Oh. And like that ultimatum is so heartbreaking because like with the kid is just trying to repair relationships. Yeah, he doesn't know his dad and his brother. I felt hesitant at first, but then told him his dad and I don't have a usual beef. I told him that his mother was my ex-wife who his dad messed around with while I was in the military serving my goddamn country. No, no. My oh nephew God. denied it, saying his dad and his grandparents never told him that. He thought I was lying till I showed him enough proof to get him to change his tone. What he did next, no one could have predicted. He left in a hurry and was enraged. I later found out via my parents that my nephew canceled all my family's wedding invitations. All of them. He canceled and the wedding. He put the wedding on hold and disappeared after he had a huge argument with them. And then he disowned his father. Oh. Dude, the, the nephew went zero to 100 real For quick. Way. Bro, to cancel the wedding, disowning your dad, like falling out with the whole family. And I understand it because like he was lied to his whole Dude. life. The person wow. like and it's also because it's like the villain switch, right? Like, yeah, probably yeah. the villain was always OP, right? Because it's like this guy has so much uh like hurt and and anger in his heart like how could he just be so rude over something so silly like a business thing Voldemort was Dumbledore the whole time <laughs> Voldemort was Dumbledore they did the old switcheroo <laughs> and freaking Harry's caught in the middle Harry you're a wizard Harry you're a wizard my father has gotten very sick after this incident and my entire family kept harassing me saying I ruined everyone's life with what I did because of my hate and resentment towards my brother. They said they warned me not to talk and that now I should deal with the consequences of alienating their grandson slash nephew from them. What are they going to whack him? I don't They're know. Dude. It sounds like a big, this is like a mob boss family right Seriously. here. But dude, I feel so bad for the nephew. Like, dude. like this is, he's the only one who, is, who didn't do anything wrong here. He didn't at all. And I don't blame his hurt. reaction he either. That's such a, that's such a shock to the system, you yeah. know? So what do you think? Is OP the a-hole? No. <laughs> That's what I think. <laughs> I actually am going to say yes. Really? Okay, yeah. go ahead. Go ahead. Give so me a I'm going to say yes. Not not because he, like, like I feel it's totally fine to not want to repair things with his brother, right? That's yeah. totally fine. But to not go to your nephew's wedding yeah. because of beef with your brother, no matter how deep, like, that's hurting the, your nephew, yeah. which you thought was your son, right? Mm. So it's like... That's you know, you have a, you definitely have some sort of connection with this person. Um, and, uh, yeah, I just, I, I, I think it, it's a heartbreaking situation, but just do it for your nephew. Yeah. I think that, uh, I think he needs to go to therapy and like really work through these emotions because, yeah. cause there's a lot, there is a lot of anger and resentment. There is. And yeah. there's, there's like, look, he, he's been wronged a great amount, but also to let those emotions faster for 20 years yeah i mean that's that's Bro, too long that's a that's, long time that's 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 a little bit too long so I, I don't know if i'll go so far as to say he's the a-hole but i think he's neg he's honestly neglecting working on his own you know yeah. personal emotions and in the process of, of neglecting that hurting an innocent person his yeah nephew. he's 50 percent a-hole yeah 50 percent. <laughs> yeah i like that <laughs> there we go all right, guys, you know what time it is. It's the middle of the video, which means you need to subscribe. Wow, nice nice notes there. Yeah, yeah I was uh, feeling my inner rock god. Come I on. like it. Uh, and as you guys know, we, sh we shout you out. If you subscribe, if you comment, mm. we hit those shout outs on the YouTubes. I actually got a very, very special shout out mm. to a special a, someone. A special shout out to I told to her to give me her TikTok. Someone. But she neglected to and doesn't want me to read her real name. But here is KW. KW says uh, from TikTok, is this better? I went over here. Please don't use my real name. Love the show, but please use the weird voice to shout me <laughs> out. KW, we love you. John is a master with the voice. Next time, KW, though, you got to follow up to my comment. Like, come on. Yeah, come on. Keep the conversation come going. On, guys. Who right, else we got, we got, John? We got a few others. We have TJ12. Imagine this was on Spotify, like a podcast. That would be fun. TJ. We have a Spotify we are a podcast. Spotify, my G. Bro. Go just look look up OKOP show on Spotify. Straight up four letters OKOP. It will pop up. Yeah. Like we or, are the top podcast named OKOP on Spotify. Or or uh like 
two inches above where you commented, you can scroll up in the description and just click the link. No, no, no need to type anything. <laughs> like you're good. Uh, some subscribers. We got Riley Rainbow. Rainbow takes the rainbow. We got Sarah Rug. Hey, I'm pulling the rug right from out of under you. <laughs> Another one, Daniel Wood. Oh, you! I got some wood for you that you can take a peek at. All right, let's see if you can handle this one. Jacob Finkelstein. Oh, Finkel, you're a stinker if you know what I'm talking about. All right, you know what? Guys, come on. Clap it up. That was four for four. <laughs> Give me another wow. one, John. All right, we also got uh, Bingus Bogus Bungus. Bingus Bogus Bungus. I'm going to fingus your fungus and get you some... I get plumbus. Okay, we're falling apart uh, here. Yeah, we almost there. All right. Well, uh, got it. Sebastian Del Moral. Del Moral. Del Moral. Del. What is Del? The in uh, Spanish? Of. I think it's of. Of. Of morals. A man of morals. Sebastian is a man of morality and morals. That's true. That's why you're subscribed to this and channel. And if you guys want us Doing. to shout out your names and your comments and read where voice read, read it in weird voices, weird. you know what to do. Subscribe and comment. It's that simple. <laughs>